Hey, good morning, and thank you so much for tuning in to another West Coast Shaving Daily Shave. I'm Corey from Shaving with Chief, and today I'm going to be showcasing a recent offering from Zagari Man, uh, and that's the Navigator. Um, the Navigator was recently released and uh, has scent notes of amber, marine, and musk. Uh, and to my nose, um, I get a very kind of uh, uh, classy, sexy, dark aquatic um, that's just really intriguing. It's, it's really, really nice and has instantly, instantly become one of my top favorites. I really look forward to using this soap this morning. Uh, for my brush of choice, I'm going to be using the uh, Heritage Collection Cleanzone Knot that I went ahead and preloaded for about 30 seconds. Uh, this is presented in West Coast Shaving's uh, finest three-band badger. And for my razor of choice, I'm going to be using the Tatara Massimune, and this has an Odachi top cap, which gives me the neutral blade exposure. Uh, I'm also using a first-use pole silver super iridium. So let's go ahead and wet my face, and we'll get right into the shave. So if you are unfamiliar with Zungari Man's Sego Bomb, I have to tell you, um, it is a truly, truly phenomenal base. And I think I said bomb, but what I meant was base. <laughs> this, uh, this soap um, is truly, truly incredible. Um, Heather has a background in, uh, in skincare, uh, and that really shines through on the products that she puts out. Um, this Sego base is really, really thick um, and is very, very luxurious on the face. Um, it is a beef tallow uh, base that has shea butter and jojoba oil in it uh, with a little bit of goat's milk. And uh, what that results in is a really kind of uh, dense, I would say medium structure, very, very slick uh, lather. Um, and it just leaves your skin feeling very hydrated and, and kind of renewed. Um, I think that uh, this base is um, one of the, the few bases out there that that really have a kind of unique, luxurious, um, kind of skincare forward experience. The, um, the scent itself is kind of light off the puck, um, sitting around a three or a four. Um, and I would say maybe increases just slightly once you start um, getting it on the face, but there's a reason for that. Um, Heather being skincare minded um, has decided to uh, ensure that her, uh, soaps are, are user friendly to the masses. Um, so she, um, she in intentionally kind of since the, uh, since the soaps a little bit lighter to uh, minimize skin reactions, which ensures that no matter, you know, if you're sensitive to uh, scents or not, um, you should be able to have a good experience with this face. In my opinion, this, uh, this soap is very easy to use and, uh, you don't have to be an expert to dial it in. Um, some of the, um, what I would consider elite bases are, are very kind of uh, challenging to dial in. Uh, they might have, you know, limited water bands or they might be excessively thirsty. I think this soap kind of provides a really, really good middle ground um, and would be easy uh, to use by even a novice, you know, that's, that's not a, a professional at lathering that has not spent a lot of time in the hobby. I think it's safe to say that this soap would be a good choice for, for almost anybody. And the, uh, the soap really does feel outstanding. And um, you know, this, this scent is uh, very, very unique. Um, it's not often that, uh, you, that you find a, a kind of dark aquatics um, in, uh, in shaving soaps and it just really, Man, it just smells really good. Instant hit for me. And as you can see, it really does give you just a really kind of dense, I would say medium structure lather. Um, incredible, incredible. All right. Let's clean up the lips a little bit. This soap is uh, what I would consider an excellent value to. Um, it, these soaps are typically priced at $21, um, but it comes in a five ounce offering. So you get five ounces for $21 and the, the soap itself is what I would consider medium hard. Uh, it is not one of the softer bases. So it will last you quite some time.
Currently, I have a um, two days growth, which is uncommon for me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the residual slickness to kind to to kind of uh, you know knock down that growth. This um, this razor itself is what I would consider medium low on the the efficiency scale. So it's just going to require a little bit more work on my end. but we will get the job done. And my face feels very, very protected. Incredible soap. Now, Sego is one of those bases that um, that I just kind of like to uh, to play around with. Um, it's not um, it's not incredibly thirsty, um, but it is thirsty, and it is very flexible. And what I mean by flexible is it, it's not a soap that um, you have to be kind of a, a pro at uh, dialing it in. Um, if you if you if you're not a experienced lather, and if you underhydrate it slightly or overhydrate it slightly you're still gonna get a phenomenal shave. And I think that that's a kind of a testament to the skincare forward ingredients of the soap. Yeah, the, um, the scent is really good. <laughs> it is really good. And I think, um, I think Heather really found a, a good balance uh, I'm someone who tends to prefer really strong scented soaps, um, <clears throat> simply because uh, if I if I find something that smells really good, <clears throat> I want to smell like that scent. However, whoa, check that out. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. That's insane. Um, uh, but with this soap, right, um, it is it is not super strong, but it's strong enough, uh, and it's and it's something that. Um, you know, I've had a couple people smell this soap, including my girlfriend Kaylee, and Kaylee absolutely loves it too. It's just a really, really dark but clean aquatic. Very, very intriguing. And I love this soap. I, 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 absolutely, I absolutely do. I love this soap. The, um,. We'll get there towards the end of the shave, but the uh, the uh, the post shave feel on this soap is really one of the things that make it shine for me. I love the way it makes my skin feel afterwards. I, I tend to uh, always use a balm or a splash just because I want to get as much protection as possible. Uh, but this is one of those soaps that that doesn't really require you to do that if you don't want to. Let's get a little bit more water in there. So even now, um, the uh, the scent tends to stick around maybe a four or five. So it's a, it's a good happy balance. That's really enjoyable. So easy to use. The um, the actual sensation on the face as you apply the lather is pretty glue type. Like it does feel like. Um, like one of those thicker, gluey bases, um, which is interesting to me because as, as though I would consider it slightly thirsty, it's not over thirsty. And I, I just love that, that feeling. I feel like my, my face is being comforted with, a, with high quality skincare. All right, so for this final pass, I'm gonna do across the grain uh, on my neck and then against the top. And then you'll see just how slick this soap is. Like, it is just so easy. It's effortless. Absolutely zero irritation. Truly one of the best bases on the market.
Now, if you've never tried um, Zingari Man before, um, I would suggest it. There's there's always some t um, a little bit of concern regarding uh, costs uh, once you get above a, a certain level. Typically, you know, um, a lot of people start getting concerned after like the $15, $16 mark. But <clears throat> at $21 for five ounces for a medium hard soap, um, that's gonna last you a long time. That doesn't necessarily require a bomb. You do get a lot of cost savings long term. Um, so if you actually look at the price per ounce and consider that it's a, a, a firmer soap, it really will last you quite, quite some time. Very smooth. <clears throat> Man, it smells so good. <laughs> I just, I'm someone who just truly loves scents. Um, the scent makes the soap for me, and this is just, this is a winner. There's absolutely zero irritation. Super smooth. Phenomenal shave. It's just too easy this morning. And my, my skin just feels like renewed. Um, you know, it's so funny because uh, Zingari sells uh, bombs too, but man, these soaps are so good that if, if you don't feel like, you, you know, you, you might not necessarily need one. I always use them because I'll take all the help I can get, but um, and I'm a daily shaver, right? Um, but man, that's just a phenomenal post shave feel. It's just in a class, a class in its own. Um, but yeah, so, the soap I use today, right? I, I use Zingari Man's The Navigator. Uh, this is a recent release from Zingari Man that has uh, scent notes of amber, marine, and musk. Uh, this is not a bright aquatic. This is a darker, more masculine, classy, sexy aquatic uh, that I truly love. Um, as soon as I smelled this, it instantly became my favorite scent from Zingari Man. And th this is not going anywhere. I'm actually gonna hold on to this soap. It's, it's really, really enjoyable. Um, the quality, the bang for your buck at $21 for five ounces is is a really, really good value. Um, and it just gives you uh, an incredible, it just takes care of your skin. <laughs> it just does. It's just a really, really well-rounded, medium firm, high quality soap. Uh, for my brush that I use today, I use the uh, the Heritage Collection Cleanzo. Uh, now this is in a three band finest badge and knot. This is also available on West Coast Shaving. It's a high quality brush for around $89 MSRP, uh, but it's one of the best in my den and I truly love using this brush. Uh, for my razor of choice this morning, I used the Tatara Massimune, and this has an Adachi top cap, which gives me a neutral blade exposure. Uh, it, it helps me kind of mow down all that extra growth. Um, you know, this was two days. It went down pretty easy in two passes. You know, I can't complain at all. Uh, the blade of choice was the Pole Silver Super Iridium, and that was a first use. So again, hey, thanks everybody for tuning in this morning for another West Coast Shaving Daily Shave. I'm Corey from Shaving with Chief. I had a phenomenal shave this morning. Uh, thanks for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day and please be safe out there. Take care.